Hello Year 11s, here is some guidance for GCSE Computer Science. Just a reminder of the overview of the course. The course includes two papers. Paper one is computational thinking and problem solving. This is a written exam. It's one hour and 30 minutes, 80 marks, which is worth 50% of the GCSE. Paper two is the written assessment, known as the theory content. This is also a written exam, one hour, 30 minutes, 80 marks, and again, 50% of the GCSE. What is included in paper one? This focuses on algorithms and programming. There is decomposition, abstraction, problem solving, pseudocode, flowcharts, searching algorithms, sorting algorithms, and writing algorithms. In programming, this focuses on data types, variables and constants, arithmetic operations, relational operations, Boolean operations, sequencing, selection, and iteration, subroutines, which includes procedures and functions, data structures, and file handling. A lot of this we have already covered, with some left to cover in year 11. What is included in paper two, the written assessment, also known as the theory content? Data representation. This is a topic that we studied in year 10. This includes number bases, such as binary and hexadecimal, converting between the number bases, units of information, binary arithmetic. This includes adding and subtracting binary, character encoding, including ASCII and Unicode, representing images and representing sound. There is computer systems, including hardware and software, Boolean logic, software classification, and systems architecture, which includes looking at the CPU and the FDE cycle. We then have computer networks. This includes types of network, connections, topologies, protocols, security, and the TCP IP model. We have two further short topics, which includes the fundamentals of cyber security and the ethical, legal, and environmental impacts of digital technology. What is the plan for year 11? So far you have studied the following. Introduction to programming. This included data types, input and output, variables, sequencing selection and iteration, including count controlled and condition controlled iteration, string handling, and the various types of operations. You have also studied the topic of data representation. And you are soon to complete the topic of computer systems. So what will you be studying in the remainder of year 11? We will be looking at advanced programming. This includes nested iteration, file handling, data structures, and subroutines and parameters. We have another theory topic called computer networks. And then we have the two further topics, cybersecurity, ethical, legal, and environmental impacts. Past content that you have studied will be recalled at various points throughout the year. This is to ensure that the content learned goes into your long-term memory and will help you with your final exams. How can you support yourself with your studies? A reminder, this is the final stretch of your GCSE course. This is important as every minute counts. Inside the classroom, use your exercise book effectively. Highlight model answers, definitions, keywords, etc. Do not be afraid to answer questions. Try to participate in class discussions and learn from your answers or any mistakes that you might make. Complete the work to your best of your ability and act on any feedback from the teacher. Myself and other teachers will provide you feedback on a regular basis to try and support you in achieving the next grades up. Below are some ideas for you to try outside the classroom such as GCSE Bite Size. This focuses on theory content, which is delivered in short website pages, making it easy to digest. Rag ratings. Highlight any topics that you are not confident in, in red. Highlight topics that you are only a little bit confident in, in amber. And any topics that you are confident in and do not need to revisit, highlight in green. This will allow you to easily identify what topics you need to go back and look at. Revision cards. This plays an important part of the topic. 
Revision cards will help you learn your definitions and keywords. This plays a big part of your final exams and you can gain high marks just by answering definitions to certain terms. Seneca Learning. This is matched to the actual GCSE specification. Revision videos. Another way of learning by watching the videos. Each video is approximately five minutes long and will tell you exactly what you need to know and how to answer questions in your final exam. And finally, past papers and mark schemes. This will get you used to answering questions and how the papers want you to answer questions to gain the full marks. This is important and we'll be using our homeworks over the coming months to look at past exam questions and using mark schemes to mark your work.